Michael Harding has brought out several new light yellows and I'd like to compare them and see how they behave. So I'm going to compare the lead tin yellow lemon with a warm light yellow. Now this one's a really lovely peachy golden colour. It's a bit like the colour of sunshine. I often find myself mixing this colour from titanium white with a bit of cad yellow and cad red, that kind of golden light colour. But he's made it in a tube for us ready to use. So I'm going to compare these two and I'm going to compare them with a little bit of titanium white just to see the difference. And I think I'm going to start with mixing them with a little bit of alizarin claret, Michael's new alternative to alizarin crimson, just to see how they behave in mixes and what's the difference and what can I get out of these new colours. So here's a little bit of alizarin claret and I'm going to mix it in with that lead tin yellow lemon and see what I get. It's a very rich warm peach. The yellow's really got a lot of warmth in it. Um, definitely quite an orangey tinge from that lemon yellow in there. If I try it now with the warm light yellow with a little bit of the same alizarin claret We're actually getting a much cooler colour. Without the lemon in that warm light yellow, which is a much more creamy, peachy colour to begin with, we're seeing a lot more of the blue notes from that alizarin claret coming through. Quite a marked difference there between the two. And now if we compare with what happens with just titanium white, which obviously is a very cool pale colour, and see what we get when we just mix the claret into white. We're going even further towards blue. The titanium white has a blue bias in the first place. So you can see three really quite different results there from the three colours. All of them useful in different ways. Um, this one I think is a really nice flesh tone but then so could this be quite useful, possibly neutralised a little bit with some of the um, Italian green umber maybe. Um, in fact let's try it and see what happens. That's gone quite green actually. A lovely soft, summery green. And into this one, greyer, more gentle. This is great, great colour here for portraits. And I would imagine into this one it's going to go pretty grey. So we're talking really soft, really natural greys here, but these these tinted lights, as it were, could be really helpful in creating more subtle colour. You can see, just with titanium white, everything is very cold. Um, with these new colours, it's possible to mix much more interesting, richer, warmer light colours without having to always use cadmium yellow. Um, you can get more subtle colour this way, I think. Very useful. <laughs>